I've looked at quite a few reviews on this specific impact wrench and the majority of those reviews are really good reviews. What I saw several times was there were some complaints about the actual speed settings as far as actual torque. I don't know how those people who wrote those reviews determined whether this impact wrench had the correct torque or not. So what I want to do is test the actual torque on this impact wrench. So if you put the switch in one, you get uh, 400 RPM. You put it in two, you get 1200 RPM. And three, you get 1900 RPM. Also, in if you put the uh, speed selector in one, you get 100 foot-pounds of torque. In two, you get 300 foot-pounds of torque. And then in three, you get 700 foot-pounds of torque. So I have a fully charged battery. I have the impact wrench. I'm going to go through each of the settings, one, two, and three. I've got a 5 16 lag bolt. We've got, well, it's 5 16 by two and a half inches. This is a half inch by five inch, five inches. And then this is a half inch by eight inches. Even though the threading is only about five on here and about two and a half or just over two and a half on here. And then I have a 5 16 impact socket and then a half inch impact socket for these two. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some uh, six by six wood that I have from an old cabin that was on our property. It was for the, the deck. Looks very similar to that right there. So I'm going to use this impact wrench and do several different types of tests. One, uh, just to see whether, you know, the 5 16th one will go all the way in without uh, struggling. Uh, check the 5 inch uh, lag bolt, see if it goes all the way in without stopping. And then also uh, the 8 inch lag bolt. And then also what I'm going to do is depending on whether the actual lag bolt stops because the impact wrench can no longer torque it down any further, then what I'll do is take an actual impact wrench and see where it actually, because I know what it should be on the settings here, I'll use the actual torque wrench and see where it actually clicks. And then that'll give me an idea of whether the torque is good for each of these settings or not and then uh, the other thing I'll do is I'll on the aways from these holes that I do for these on the same piece of wood I'll do it further down where I'll just do like a little pre-drill uh, just to see what well, it's going to be dependent on how the first test goes if these bolts go all the way in then there's no reason to test it any further but if there are some issues, what I'll do is I'll pre-drill some holes to get these started and then actually, you know, see if they can uh, go all the way in uh, with the impact wrench. And I will be starting this test with a brand new, this hasn't even been used yet other than just see that it works, but nothing impact related has been done with it. And then also the battery would be fully charged. So this is starting right from, you know, brand new out of the box. And then if I remember down the road sometime, I'll probably do another follow-up video just to show, you know, how long specifically this battery, uh, you know, because as things get used, you know, 
battery packs tend to not hold the same amount of charge as they do when they're brand new as when you've used them for a year or so and you know do you leave it out in the cold uh do you overuse it you know those types of things will come into effect as far as how long it will continue to operate and then also depending on how much you use this impact wrench these things burn out too i've i've done some work where i've used some impact wrenches or drills and you've had to do so much work you know constantly going at it and i've had drills start smoking on me get really hot i've had them completely burn out and just stop working altogether so uh, hopefully get a good idea of where this stands in the future uh, after using it for a while this is a six by six post that came from an old cabin on our property it's treated not sure exactly how old it is but this uh this is pretty solid so first test is a five sixteenths by two and a half on the first setting I dig out around it. I didn't realize it was going to take the head of the lag bolt all the way down, but it's not too bad for being on the very first setting. Next up, we have the half inch by five inch lag bolt. Let's see how this this goes. And this is on the first setting.
All right, so this bolt is just past the threads on the bolt. Um, I'm actually pretty impressed that it's still only on the first setting and uh, the bolt continues to spin. Um, it doesn't appear that it's slowing down, although, I mean, it does take a little while and I'm sure on a higher setting it probably wouldn't take as long, but it's actually pretty impressive that uh, it continues to go on the very first setting which is supposed to be the supposed to have the lowest torque i was going to do the uh this is the five inch lag bolt but i was going to do the eight inch lag bolt but i think the result would be the same even on the first setting it would continue to go all the way to the threads and i'm pretty sure that it actually would go all the way to the top or the bottom of the uh the bolt head so now what i'm going to do is put the set, put the impact wrench on setting two and now uh, see what the result is. five inch half inch by five inch lag bolt all the way to the bottom of the the hit the bottom of the head um, that went pretty quick and that was all the way that wasn't just to the on the threads so now I'm really curious to see what three is going to be like all right so here we go just now on three see how fast this goes So that was number three, the th third setting. It was definitely a lot quicker. Drove it, drove it in pretty quick. And uh, the only reason why I kept stopping is because I was trying to prevent the head from going too far into the wood. It did go in a little bit, but not as far as it did on this first one here, where I actually had to dig it out in order to get the uh, impact socket onto the head of the lag bolt. But that was pretty quick. Lag bolts definitely uh, come out a whole lot faster than they go in. But either way, I think it's got some pretty impressive torque and unfortunately I couldn't actually, um, because none of the bolts actually, none of the bolts stopped. So I wouldn't be able to really test the torque with an actual torque wrench um, to see how much torque this uh, uh, impact wrench is actually putting out. I wouldn't say that that was too much work doing those lag bolts and the nice thing is that there's still three bars on the battery pack. Since I did use the uh, two and a half inch and the five inch lag bolts I'm going to go ahead and drive this 8 inch, half inch by 8 inch lag bolt. I'm pretty sure it will go all the way through. But I would like to see it power all the way through because um, I have had to use lag bolts on some projects. And in most cases, I've uh, had to use a socket wrench to get the lag bolt in and if you ever had to use a socket wrench to put a lag bolt in uh, especially without a piloted uh, or a pilot hole it can be time consuming and uh, a pain 
to do. So let's see what happens with with this. And it is set on three. Fence by eight inch lag bolt went in pretty uh, quickly. Definitely something you really need to be aware of. If you were driving this lag bolt with a uh, socket wrench or some other slow method, this bolt would not get very hot because there wouldn't be that much friction. But when you do use an impact wrench, uh, whether you're uh, driving the lag bolt into wood or you're taking lug nuts off or any other project that may require an impact wrench um, these bolts do get very very hot this one right now that i just took off is pretty hot 